<sighs> YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh. We back up in this thing with another video. The Lord woke us up this morning. It's a beautiful day. All oh, praise to the most high, man. Today, we talking about when I realized I was in the friend zone, bro. Yes, bro, the friend zone. A lot of men are in this zone today. And if you are in this zone or you are unaware that you're in this zone, I'm going to say a couple of things that may say where you think like, yeah, I'm definitely friend zone. Now, my message here before we get into it is that as a man, if you aspire to be with a woman romantically or whatever status you want the relationship to be and that woman is not in agreement with it, bro, cut your losses, bro. Never hang out around people with the hopes of where they have the ball completely in their court and they're calling the shots and you're just sitting there at their side, at their in front of them, just waiting for them to pick you as if they don't know that that's what they that you want. They know that that's what you want, bro. If you think that, oh, yeah, I'm going to sit here and be your friend. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't know that I like her. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to play it safe. That's all y'all are doing. It's just playing it safe. Y'all, that's what men do, or that's just what people do in general, is that whenever we find something that's so delicate, find something that's so precious to us that we want to keep in our lives forever, or for a long time, for example, we gon' we gon' we gonna handle it with as most care as possible. We we ain't gonna we ain't gonna treat it like it's nothing. We ain't gonna do none of that. What we going to do is we going to try to, you know, be very careful with it, be very delicate, not try to rattle it, not try to get it upset, want it to be constantly thinking like, oh, this guy right here is such a good guy. Oh, he's such a good guy. And then eventually one day they'll just have an epiphany and be like, oh, I love this guy eventually, bro. That never happens, bro. I'm telling you, that woman that you, that's, that you in the friend zone for, bro, she's getting with another guy. For sure. And he's not doing half of the stuff, nor doing the things that you're doing. And you want to know what's funny is that you know you're in the friend zone is if she tells you about this guy. She lets you know about this guy. She complains to you about this guy. And you just sitting there like, oh, man, if that was me, I wouldn't do I wouldn't treat you like that. I wouldn't do that to you. No, you beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Bro, you saying all that stuff, she knows she you like her. Cause that's the that stuff right there, the guy who she's complaining to you about is not even doesn't even say that stuff. So for you to say you beautiful, oh, I could do this for you, blah, blah, blah. She knows, bro, but she don't want you, bro. She don't see you like that. She see here is it is is when it comes to this, it's pretty black and white. It's no gray. Black and white. Here's the pool of the guys who she likes and sees in a sexual manner. Here are the guys who she doesn't like and doesn't see in a sexual manner. You being in the friend zone, you are in this category, my friend. You are in the latter. You are in the zone where she does not see you like that. You will never get a shot. And you think that you're getting a better chance by being this woman's friend, by staying in her life. You think that's actually boosting up your odds as each day passes. It's actually hurting your odds as each day passes because you have no assertiveness in your life. You cannot set your foot forward. You cannot dictate the terms of the relationship. Lead, men are leaders and whatever we want, we go out and achieve. And whenever somebody rejects us, we're willing to walk away and not stay in that situation and not deal with something that where we're get, deal in a situation where we're getting less than what we think our value is. Have enough self-respect, have enough self-respect for you to sit there and analyze and say, bro, I, I am worthy of being with a girl like this. She tripping. She not messing with me. Oh, it's all good. There's another one that's waiting for me. I'm good. I don't need to be your friend. I don't need to sit here sending you these good morning texts, hearing you complain about the dude that I wish I was, hearing you, hear you treating me like I'm less than, saying, oh, you're such a good brother, those slaps in the face. Have enough self-respect to say, hey, man, hey, this ain't what it is, and I'm going to just go ahead and walk away. I'm not accepting anything less. And you men that are willing to stay in the friend zone, it's sad because you're willing to accept something so much less of what you want in this life and world, but you're so timid to go out there and take it. You're, so, you're, you're acting so timid, so scared. 
treating this girl with the utmost delicacy, treating the, this girl as if she is one of billions, as if she cannot be replaced, as if you cannot find another woman like this. That's what she's, that's what's coming off of you if you stay in the friend zone. That each day that you stay in the friend zone, you coming off as in, this guy has no other women. I'm the only option. I'm the best guy. He'll stay right here, do what I tell him and won't move an inch. She's got your balls in her purse, bro. And she knows it. She knows it. And the fact that you willingly sit there in that friend zone every single day says a lot about you that she's picking up on. That's why she will never give you a shot, bro. She will give you a shot. The best chance that you have of getting this woman who friends on you, who does not see your value, does not see you in that way. The best way you can get this woman and get out of the friend zone is walking out, walking out on her and stop being her friend. She's not giving you what you what you want in regard to the standard of the relationship of where you want it to be. So you don't give it what she what she wants. Of course, she wants you to be of. Of course, she wants you to just stick around and boost her head up all day and give her all the attention in the world that you will rightfully give her. Not rightfully give her what you will willingly give her. No issues. Anytime she says, baby, call me, you going to pick up the phone, call her and give her and talk to her and boost her head up and give her a million compliments. She's draining your energy, bro. That's why you are on this video. That's why you are tired of being in this type of relationship because it's one sided because she's getting everything she's getting everything that she wants out of you and that's all it is sometimes that's women all they want is attention they're not like men men don't fool around dealing with girls who they really don't like like that they don't give them a lot of attention they'll give you they'll give them a, enough attention just so they can have sex with them you have to do that you give them a little bit of attention and in return they'll give us what we want which is sex So, with that being said, you have to realize that relationships work best when they are two-sided. You, my friend, if you are not getting what you want out of a relationship, the best thing you can do as a man, a man that's worthy of respect, a man of value, a man that has true value, is being able to have enough respect for yourself and walk away. And having the mindset that there will be another, that this woman is not the end all be all. And I'm here to tell you as a man that has not been on this earth very long, but has had experiences with women and has gone through what you're going through right now at the age of 25 going on 26 this month. I am here to tell you, bro, you will find another. And the best way for you to get this woman that is friends owning you is if you go out there and get another. Not saying don't be in a rush and be like, oh, oh, that's all I gotta do is just go get another girl and then she's gonna like you. No, bro. But show up, but she'll see what she's missing, bro. Have enough respect for you to walk away and be like, oh, you're not feeling me like this. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go be with somebody who does. And we're gonna have a good time. And we gonna we gonna feed off of each other's energy. And I'm gonna be giving her everything that you wish you that that what you wish you was getting from old boy, but you didn't want from me, but I'm gonna give it to this person. See, that's the thing about women. They like children. They don't want to play with that toy until they see somebody else playing with it. You know how you are when you a kid and a kid could be out here playing with it. Everybody got their own toy, but they see you go out there and they pick up a toy and they want to play with your toy. They so hive minded. They, they always want what the other has. They want what is not available to them. That's it's crazy. It's backwards. But as soon as something's unavailable for them or it's something that they can't easily get, they want it even more. And so you self-analyze yourself and say, this woman has all access to me. I need you to sit there and look at yourself in the mirror and say, this woman has all access to me. She does not have to work to get me. She already has me if she wants me, but she doesn't want you. She just has you on the shelf, bro. You just need to hop up off that shelf and go out there and go be on the team that wants you. Why you, want, why you riding the bench? For a team, for a coach that don't see your skills, don't think you good enough, don't think you got what it takes, so you're not gonna get no minutes on the court. 
Go to the team where they say, bro, we like you over here. We like your skills. You the starting point guard today if you hop up off that bench. But you don't want to hop up off that bench for the reason why. Oh, I know why you don't want to hop up off that bench. Because you think once you hop up off that team, you think there's not going to be another one there waiting for you. And that could be the case. That very well, very well may be the case. Because you probably ain't putting in the work. You probably ain't working on your skills. You probably not getting better. So probably that's probably the only team that you can join. That's probably the only girl that you have a shot at getting and she got you in the friend zone, bro. Because you putting your energy and your focus into making this woman happy when that's not what gets them, bro. That's not. It's not. They don't want to be your number one priority. They don't want that. They want a man who's on his own purpose, on his own mission, doing what he wants to do, doing what he feels is necessary for him to do to make himself the best version of himself, to make him the most successful version of himself. Instead of worrying about what, what he can do to make this woman happy or what, can, what he can go do to make her life so great. No, you need to fo put that focus into saying, what can you do to make your life great without this woman? This woman will come along with you if you put your energy and focus onto yourself. You know that saying, happy wife, happy life? That's what society is trying to tell you, bro. That's not it, bro. That's not how you want to live your life. That's why you feeling so down. That's why you feeling so sad. If a woman, if I'm, today, if, if a woman, if me and her are getting with each other and I say, hey, I'm really feeling you, you know what I'm saying? How about we, you know what I'm saying, do X, Y, and Z? I put, I lay out the standards of the relationship. And she's like, nah, but we can go do this though. I got enough for self-respect to be like, yo, this woman is not for me. This is not the one that is giving me the energy that I need. She, she's trying to drain me of the energy that I have, put it into her, and then she's not trying to give me nothing in return. Oh no, I can't do that, bro. I gotta walk away. I gotta walk away. And that's what you need to do, my friend. How you get out of the friend zone starts with you. You can only get yourself out the friend zone. She's not all of a sudden going to pick you one day, bro. You have to get up and say, you know what? I can't be your friend. I can't keep constantly being, being called on upon for attention. Being called on upon whenever your man doesn't want to treat you right. And then you want to complain to me all day. But then, like, the disrespect, the fact that she would talk to you, you would, as men... A woman should never speak of another man in your presence. Facts! If you are sitting with a woman who you are sexually into with, in a relationship with, bro, she should not ever feel the audacity or feel the comfortableness of her mentioning another man in your presence. It is utmost disrespect. You know it's disrespectful because it, it, you don't even like, you don't like hearing about it. You don't care about that dude. But yet you'll sit there and listen to everything about him just to make her happy. Put your, take yourself out of your masculine frame to put this woman, put her feelings and put everything that she, put her who has done nothing for you, put her on this pedestal and be like, you're my main priority. You're my main pro focus. I'm trying to make you happy. That's what you look like, man. You look silly, bro. And she sees that too. And she's just like shaking her head and her thoughts like, bro, this dude, he'll never get the chance. Yeah, I know he likes me. Yeah, I know he wants me, but I, I'll use him for attention. He makes me feel good. But I'm not giving him anything that he wants. And as that man, you gotta self-analyze and realize that enough is enough. And you get up and you go out, you put the work in, and you attract the woman that wants to be in your life the way you want her to be in your life. You can accomplish that, my friend. You gotta put the work in, though. You gotta put the work in. Be able to put the work in without seeing the results tomorrow. You may not see the results the next month. You may not see the results in a year. But if you put the work in, if you really want it bad enough, if you're tired of living like this, you gotta be willing to challenge yourself you got to be willing to change yourself. And the only way you can change yourself is by challenging yourself. So keep on working, man. Stay humble. 
Stay disciplined. Like and share the video. I'm out, man.